Hey everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost and today, today I'm making some fabric bookmarks. Yes, 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 yes. And I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. These are very fun. I apparently have a fabric addiction lately. Actually, I have a whole pile of fabric scraps that I would like to use up. So I thought some awesome bookmarks would be really fun to make. And I want to show you a couple tips and tricks on how to make these uh, easily. These do involve sewing. Um, you could completely glue these, but I think sewing adds a really nice touch and appeal to uh, the style of these. Um, you can just do zigzags or straight stitch or fancy stitches, whatever you like, but they are covered with fabric front and back and uh, they just feel really good and they just look really cute and they would be really cute sticking out of the top of a journal. Let's see, I've got journal. See how cute that is? How cute that is. Just adorbs. Okay, so let's make some of these. They're very easy and uh, they also use up uh, junk mail. So yay, yay for using up junk mail. Save all your little scraps. You never know when you're going to need them. I know. I know. Okay, let's make a place to glue. All right, let's get you organized. And let's get this party started. So I started with some just good old junk mail. These uh, direct mailer cards are a nice thickness. Um, you can use cardstock, but since we're going to be covering it, um, cardstock is expensive. So, you know, you may want to use something that is, you know, the same thickness, but it does not... Um, uh, this doesn't cost you anything because it comes free in the mail. Yay, yay, free uh, crafting supplies through the mail. Love that. Okay, so cut them down to whatever size you like. And sometimes I just let the uh, length of the uh, direct mailer card dictate um, the length of the direct mailer of uh, my bookmark. Look at that. Uh, yeah, I've been crafting. I've been crafting. It's true. Um, I think I'm going to cut these in half and I'm going to shave a little off of this one. That may be just a tad wide. Not really, though. It could be fine the way it is. Um, okay, so let's do that. Yep, I guess I'll do it on screen here. I probably would use my guillotine cutter, but since I am here with you guys, I will just put this here on my craft mat and cut it with my craft knife and my ever-faithful metal ruler. That looks like about middle. Get two out of this baby. Yeah. No trees dying here. Well, maybe they did die because they're already turned into paper. Okay, never mind. Okay, no trees not... Oh, that's not in the middle. Oh, who cares? Um, <laughs> that's why I don't measure. That's right there why I don't measure. Okay, um, but I am going to line up the dots, hopefully, so these are in the same spot. And I'm just trimming this off a bit, going slow, careful with the craft knife, retracting. Okay. Get that out of there and let me get a better glue paper. That's going to drive everybody batty looking at that thing. Me too. All right. We'll just sacrifice this paper. There you go. <laughs> All right. So I'm just using any old glue stick. Um, this doesn't require a really strong glue stick because we are going to be doing sewing. So I'm trying to use up some of the others that I, I don't like as much anymore. Um, there's nothing wrong with Yoohoo. It's very popular. A lot of people love it and swear by it. So don't use my opinion on it. Um, make your own opinion on your glues. Try a bunch. And uh, the more you craft, the more you're going to want to experiment. And I encourage that because you're going to find your happy place and your happy glue. And th that's awesome. Okay, so I covered the back with glue. Okay. And now we are sewing, but I'm, this, I'm using it just to tack. Um, to tack things down. Now these uh, little quilting squares, um, I put them in a in a little bin, in a little dish, and soaked some in coffee, some in tea, dried them out, made them, aged them up a little bit. You don't have to do that. You can use ones just as is. Um, you can use, um, you know, you can cut up old clothing and stuff like that, laundered clothing, and use it for the material, bed sheets, linens, things like that. It doesn't have to be quilting squares. It's just, I happen to have a bunch of these, and I thought, well, you know, it's high time to see you use them. You know, enough of this saving, saving for a rainy day stuff. I have to stop, you know, embrace Embrace the thrill of using stuff. Yes, you know, who are, you know, we have these uh, eternal save it, save it because it's so special. Um, remember, you bought it to play with and, uh, uh, it, you know, go through your stuff. There's probably some stuff that you could, uh, you could play with. It's all right. Pull it out. Okay. Backside doing the same thing. Um, now, here's one of the quandaries I used to run into when I would do something like this and I thought, Okay, this is going to be easy. I'll just cover it with material on both sides and off to the sewing machine I will go and I will just cover it and life will be dandy. Well, the problem was I couldn't see my edges or I couldn't feel them very well. 
And I did try the attempt of the, what I call the feel your way technique and uh, to, to try and find the edge and follow the edge as I was sewing. But um, let me just say that was, um, that ended up an epic failure many times for me because I, I couldn't, I just couldn't follow it. I couldn't see it. And uh, I need something more contrasting there. And uh, so um, I just came across this little idea. It's, uh, it's probably not original, but it does help because you can go ahead and slap this stuff down and get moving. You know what I mean? Um, so let's, let me show you, it's easy. All right, let me just finish off this last little tail. A little tail, okay. Not wide enough, okay. Now, my kingdom for a wider piece. Here you go. Long enough? Nope. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? Okay, you? Yeah, you might work. All right. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the, the easy trick is you take some, that really doesn't matter what color, but I'm using um, walnut stain today because it's right here in front of me. And uh, I am just going, boy, that's really intense, isn't it? I'm going to go and ink down the edges where the uh, direct mailer card is and that's going to show me exactly where the line is and since this is a grungy style you know antique style bookmark kind of country country grunge um i think that uh it actually it works well because you, you probably going to ink up the edges anyway so why not do it now and have your inked edges serve a purpose for you so i can easily see um, where I have to sew and also not just where I have to sew but where I have to cut so if I'm making a bookmark this patchwork bookmark style thingy and there's my scalloped edge scissors I just apparently happen to have these at the ready always lately um, now I can see easily where I need to cut okay so I'm just gonna cut to this the side of the line because I want a, a little a little frilly here much of a frill. You know, it doesn't have to be a frill. You could cut it straight and just fray the edges, things like that, um, or use a pinking shears for a zigzag cut, um, something like that. Um, we'll also give you different edge looks. But this is this is actually a very um, fun way to do it because pretty, it's pretty fast. There. Okay. So we are we are done that. Now, if you really go around, if you glued it really well, or if you used Fabrifix or something there, you could say you were done and be happy with that. You may want to go in there and, and sew these little where they connect down a little bit more. So glue those down. But we're going to go over to the machine and do a little zippy sew. Hang on. Here we go. Okay, over here we are now, and uh, apparently I just checked my camera and it wasn't recording as I was sewing, but basically what I sewed so far was this way, that way, and down. So I'm just closing off the last bit. Sorry about that. I... Okay, so what I sewed so far was basically around the border. Okay, and I just followed the brown mark. That was easy. I don't need to sew the back because it's already sewn, but what I am going to do is just uh, so where the connections are. So there's going to be a uh, connection on each side and I'm going to zigzag stitch it. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Going this way. All right, coming home. All right. Choop. And there's two on this side. So you'll have four zigzag stitches, you know, if you used the same number of pieces that I did. Oh, is that one already sewn? Hmm. Strangely, it, it sewed that one. I just happened to get lucky and it, and it caught that, but let me, let me just go over it. So I would like some dark, um, I have brown on top here, and I would just like that to show a little bit more. Okay, so there, I'm all sewn, and uh, back we go to the table. Hang on. All right, we're back here on the table. Yes, yes, we are. Just going to do a little uh, trimming of some strings. Could have done those on my machine, but yeah, you know, sometimes just do it over here. It's just as easy. You get all these fancy buttons on the machine or fancy things, but you end up doing it by hand anyway, because I don't know, it just feels good. Okay, so what do we have now? We have, let me count. One, two, two, three, four. Five. Oh, did I show you all these? I don't know. Oh, okay, I just I made some others earlier. Let me actually do this better, better focus. Okay, um, so you can just see the different styles, and then we're going to go ahead and decorate these. 
You can do your strips long ways, as I did here. I piecemealed these, and then I did one long strip here, one long strip, one long strip, okay? This one, very cute. Hmm? Okay, this one I think we did together. Very cute, and I like the, the hodgepodginess of the different fabrics. All right, let me see what I got here. Um, all right, so I have a bunch of, oh, okay, here's a couple more. Yeah, a little Christmas theme on that one. Very pretty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Now, let's go ahead and just, uh, I did some different kinds of toppers on these. The scrunch topper, the ruffled top topper, the uh, squish and fold. And this is the collection of tidbits, lace, and applique design. <laughs> uh, added a word onto this one. I mean, it really, you can do whatever you like on these things. So um, let's just have some fun and add some pieces. So remember I said all those little pieces that you had? Let's pull them out. Let's pull them out. What you got there? What you got there, Missy? All right, let's see. There it is again. That strange accent. I don't know. Yep, sometimes it comes out Russian. I don't know. <laughs> um, I did have, okay, I'm going to do the, what I call the twist and fold. Okay, twist. And then something like that. Okay, so, uh, I, you know, it's all kind of wrinkly, crunchy. And then maybe down just like that. And I'm just going to go bzzit with the machine. All right. Hang on. All right. Here I am. I'm coming. I'm just going to go bzzit. Yep. That's it. Okay. It's kind of squashed on there in a wrinkly sort of roughly way. And I think it's kind of cool. All right. I can see my mail guy going by. All right. There we go. There we go. Kind of cool, right? All right. So let's do another one. Okay. So here that little guy. Well, we got some threads. We got to trim our threads. And you can leave little threads dangling. That looks kind of cool too. Kind of homemade-ish looking. Um, and you can decide on the degree of homemade-ish you're comfortable with. Now maybe you want more of a contrasting color up top or, or you want like something beige or white or something that pops against this or you just want conti to continue the color fiesta up at the top. Very cute, huh? Yeah, okay. So um, let's do a few more toppers just to give you some different ways of doing these. Okay, let's do the roughly fold. The roughly fold would be, let's just find a piece that's already that shape. Okay, let's try, maybe, oh, you're big. Hang on, just trying to find a piece here. All right, what's that? Oh, okay, no, same color, gotta do something different. Do something different, do something different. Oh, find something, Pam, for goodness sake. Just find a piece, anything. This? Okay. All right. We'll do this one. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do with this one is I am going to give it a couple foldy folds. There's probably like a more technical way to do this. Should probably start with a, a wider one, but I'm going to fan it out. Okay. All right. Bring that guy in. And now I'm going to go sew it on. Yes. It's my great sewing technique like that. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> like that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm gonna put that on there a little bit more. Okay. Now hold that. Hold the camera. Hold on. Okay. We're back over here and I'm just going to sew that little pup on. Not to be confused with any other pup. No other pups are being sewn on other than this pup. Okay. Oh, sunshine is sleeping. Yes. Uh, Holly must be sleeping or eating right now, too. Huh, I'm getting a break. How about that? That rarely happens. Okay, there we go. Very cute, right? Just kind of scrunchy at the top. There's like no, no rhyme or reason scrunchy. Okay, and we go back over here. Hold on. All right, we're back over here. So we have this little guy, and we're just trimming him. And where's the other guy? So we made these two so far. Very cool, huh? All right, let's keep going. Put a little topper on you. Doesn't matter which way we put the topper on. Um, oh, you're kind of cool. I like something with a little more width. Um, let's see what we got. Oh, you're kind of cute. All right, so I want to show you that one where. Okay, this one. You know what? Maybe I'm just going to use some of this. I've been I've been hoarding this piece, but I really like it, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to cut a longer piece. 
and you can you can tear bed sheets to do this um, but here's a longer piece this is great great fray great fray going on here love that love that and now I'm just going to do a ruffle top and you can probably do this at the machine but I apparently am doing it over here putting it down you could probably glue it too okay well, I'm going over there now hold on okay I'm sewing this one on now let me make sure I cover the edge Okay, I can always trim it later if I want, but I want to uh, uh, I want to leave it long and loosey goosey right now because I think I think that looks kind of cool, all oh, feathery. All right, here we go. Ready? Zigzagging number four and the brother. And there are probably more eloquent ways to sew these on, but I am a um, rookie sewer, but I want you to show, I want to show you what even rookie sewer can do. It's fun. It's quick. It gives you variety. You get like a little, a little ruffly roux. I don't know if you can see this from this angle. So I'm going to bring you back over. Hang on. Are you here? Okay. So that's a, that's a really long one, right? Okay. So I may trade, trim that one down, but that's, that's kind of cool, right? We got lots of uh, loosey gooseys there. And, um, Here's our others. Just kind of remember what we did. And uh, that might be a little long. Okay, let's say we want to trim it a bit. Okay, maybe I'll come in here with my pinking shears because they're present. And I'll do that. Oh, now how cute is that, right? Right, I know, I know. So easy. And those of you who are multi-talented in the sewing realm, I mean, just imagine the possibilities here that you can do. Whoa, it's just mind boggling. Uh, but one of my favorite ones is the twist. So let's try this one. It's a good uh, multicolor thing thing a one, you know, thing a thing. And uh, there we go. Let's just put some like, color on the ends. And it's like a fake bow. Hold it there. Back over to the sewing machine. So the whole thing is I have to be careful not to accidentally turn my video off when I'm swinging it around because I, I could do that. So I think I'm getting a little better at that. And I'm hoping I'm not accidentally cutting parts out like I, I do. Sorry about that. The other day, I know I somehow didn't turn it on when I should have. Oh, come on up. And just go slow through the knot, knot part. See how it, it kind of wants to choke a little bit. Just go slow. Yeah. And then when you get to the thinner part, rock and roll okay eh, eh, eh. Oh, I'm at the right spot eh, there okay all right so there we have this little guy how cute is he right I hope that's in view for you guys let me bring it back over here hold on and we're here and we're here and we're recording yes okay so I'm just trimming off these little guys and I think these are just so fun so cute they're super thin for a journal very nice to mark pages Yes, as a bookmark does, because that's that's what they're for. And uh, let's see, we've got a couple more here. Um, and you can do uh, you can add things or layer things. Like let's see, let's say you have a lot of little. Whoop, let me bring that back over. You know, you have like a little bunch of little pieces. Let's see what we can do with a bunch of little pieces. Maybe we can just do like a, um, um, you know what I mean, like a little patchwork thing at the top of bunches of little pieces. Let's let's try that. All right, well, I have no idea how this is going to go. I probably should glue it down first. Um, have no glue at the... Okay, this will work. Fabrifix. Clear silicone glue. Good for fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. And um, here we go. Let's just put some of these down in a little like tile format, like as if we're building a roof tile. We're just going to going to layer some pieces randoms not thinking about it too much where are my little pieces funny i had millions of them now i can't find any um okay here's some okay yeah all right you're cute let's bring you along you want to come on for the ride okay all right there we go i'll just mix in some of the same ones because it might look kind of cute and uh, a little matchy matchy not too matchy matchy, but a little matchy matchy. Um, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I was looking at a, I don't know, it was like some website that's showing like the trends that are out this year for uh, decor. Apparently, my whole house is out. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. <laughs> you know, I, I can't keep up with that stuff. It's too. I'd rather be gluing paper. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna try some glue stick on this baby. We'll just see if that works. All right. Does anybody really know how to say that? Ooh-hoo, yoo-hoo, uh-hoo. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I've heard it said so many different ways on different uh, videos. It's hilarious. I, I just, I get the biggest kick out of it. Now, maybe we should, ha should we just use the stitch as the defining line or should we, maybe we should slap a little something on there. Like something like that. Okay, let's do that. All right, so that'll anchor everybody down. Make sure I'm on the card. All right, we're going. We're going over. Hold on. Okay, I'm coming. Just got to grab the piece. Hang on. It's got the camera set up. Okay, guess I can go like this. Sticking with my same zigzaga. Okay. All right, and mission complete. Awesome. Yay. There, how cute is that? So you really, you get to use up everything. Isn't that awesome? And it's very tactile. It's a very, it's a, you know, it's got that nice fabric feel. And uh, let's go back and trim our little edges. Boop. Okay, so here's what we have. And let's just trim some of these little guys off. These are so much fun. I mean, I don't know. Is it fair to get so excited about a bookmark? I, I just get excited about bookmarks. I just think they're the coolest thing since sliced bread. And I think there's 101 million ways to make them. Ooh, that's a weird noise. Did anybody hear that? Oh, oh I have a hole. How on earth did I get a hole? It cracked. Look at that. Probably from overuse. Look at that. Holy mackerel. Well, doesn't that, doesn't that? Beat all. Okay, so apparently that can happen. How am I going to deal with this? What are you going to do? I'm going to packing tape it and hope that works. <laughs> My glue oozing out on all, all over the place. Somewhere in here there's a leak. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, well, obviously up here there's some kind of leak. We have sprung a leak. Holy moly. Yeah, look at that. I probably did something wrong. Yep. Seems like everybody else is doing fine with these, but me, I'm springing leaks left and right. Maybe I poked it with scissors. I could, I could see that happening. That's a possibility. All right, let me put that. That wasn't on that tight. Yeah, holy, holy begoly. Okay, so there we go. Isn't that, that's so pretty, isn't it? And you could, you could, okay, I'm going to do it. Why, why do I keep saying you could? Just do it, Pam. Do it. I can have that. All right, I'm going to do that. I took a little button and I filled it up with some seed beads I had. Just put some glue in there and squashed them in there. That was a while ago, so it's good and dry. But I think I'm just going to glue this button on. Okay, I'm squeezing. I don't know what's happening here. No glue is coming out the end. What? Is there any leakage happening? Nope. All right, let me borrow a, a pin from somebody else. Okay, opening that up. All right. Oh, the life of a crafter. I tell you, we face many things, many things, but we carry on. We carry on for the fun of it all. Because somehow, at the end of the day, it's a good day when you get to do a little crafting. We created something that wasn't there before. That is uh, uh, kind of uh, cool. Uh, you gave birth to something. Something, well, in this case, made out of paper or fabric. All right. There. How's that little cutie? A little over that way? Okay. Um, adorable, huh? Yeah. Okay. And, you, you know, it's up to you whether you want to put fabric or not on both sides. But if you do, that little trick with the um, uh, the edging, you don't actually have to edge both sides if you're going, you're just going to cut one side. So that is actually only needed on one side. All right. And I have, what are we, time-wise? Okay. I got a, that one here. And that's a pretty, let's see what you would like to be topped with. What would you like to be topped with? Would you like something like, like this? Oh, what else can we do? Right, that's a good question. What else can we do with these scraps, Pam, that we could make something? Okay, what if, what if we made a scrap cluster and then we trim it and we call it um, a topper? Let's try that. Let's try layering a bunch of these in some kind of weird star formation, little bits. Little bops. Oh, that's kind of cute. And uh, okay, so I probably got three or four of these together. And maybe this time, just doing something different here. 
I'm going to staple this right onto here. Let's just see how that works. Okay. No sewing needed to attach this cluster. You, yeah, there we're on. Oh, oh my God, I stapled the back. Of course I did, of course. Okay, let me just make sure my little staples are down again. It's in flatty flat. Okay, okay, this guy's a little long. Maybe we wanna trim you. Okay, not that one very straight. Not that it has to be straight, but. Um, okay, what else we got? We got you, you're okay, you're okay. And uh, I think I wanna do something a little bit behind him. Maybe, you know, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just, I'm, I'm extra tucking. What is that? Nobody knows, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, it's like a tiny square. I, I think it's kind of cool. Well, that kind of size is kind of really cool. Let's put that there. And let's staple that. Apparently I'm stapling this one. Okay, that's in there, good. And we got this side and I could tuck something in here. Let me find a little something. We got this little guy. He's not doing anything. Uh, are you free this afternoon? Yes? Okay, well, guess what? You're gonna live here. I'll just scrunch you up in some strange format. I don't know, how about that? Okay, and uh, let me go closer so you can see what on earth I am doing. So I'm lifting up the side of my cluster and I'm tucking it. Well, let's see, maybe I wanna do it like that. Okay. So there's no real rhyme or reason. We're just doing it. I think I'm going to want to cover these staples somehow. So let me think on that while I'm stapling. Oh, stapling's done. Better think fast. Okay, so now for my next trick, um, I think I would just like something there. And that could be an any, it could be any one of these little pieces. Or I could get something completely different. But let's see just what we have here. Uh, I just need something to go across. No, I'd like something a little more contrasting than that. What are you? You're kind of cute. You're in the same color family. We could put you there and just glue you on. We could totally do that. Or we could, you know what? Let's get a word. Let's get a word. Let's put, um, oh, actually, this would be very cute. Uh, let's see if this will work. All right. This is one of my bed sheet stamped images. Just tore these up, did a bunch of stamping so they would be at the ready. And there you're going to go. I'm right, covering all my, oh, that's kind of cute, hey? It gives a little contrast there, let's do that. And this one, we are going to glue, yeah. All right, now just remember when you, if you use a glue on a thin piece of material, you wanna smooth it so that you don't get too much bleed through. Okay, you go over there, you go over there. Where's my extra fingers? I need extra fingers, okay. Oh, some schmutz. My, my brown ink is coming off on my, my uh, thing there. It's okay, it's all not right now, okay. Yay! Oh, you can't see that very well, sorry. Yay! Okay, look at that. That's kind of cute, huh? All right, we can put, we can even do more to it. Yes, yes we can. We have a few minutes here. Um, oh, you're cute. Do I want to put you there? Too leafy upon leafy? Okay, we'll find something else. I got a butterfly. Is this the right color? Maybe not the right color, huh? Um, let me make them pink. He just says he wants to be pink, possibly. How about purple? I've got purple handy. Let me uh, let me do purple. Are you purple? Yeah, you're sort of purple. All right. Sort of, sort of purple. This is very dry. I, I didn't just dab it. I, I am, it's like going for, not much purple, but it will show up. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I like that, but yeah, not really. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to come over here and I'm gonna add uh, a flat back pearl. I think, yeah, now, that, now that's better, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's what it needed. Yeah, it just needed a little something. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they just need a little something. I gotta use up my little somethings. I'm like drowning in little somethings over here. So there we go. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, let me do that. Whoop. Da da da. There she is in all her glory. Very easy to make, very fun. Different ways to do the tops. So let me go ahead and pull out all these little lovelies here so you can see them, see what we did. Let me put some other paper so you can, can see what we did. <laughs> okay. Yep. I'm 
I'll give you a little, oh yeah, there's my desk. Messorama, yep, that's reality. Reality in my world. Okay, here is, let me just line them up here so you can see them. Oh, that's kind of far away. I'll put you a little closer. Oh, I'll put you there. Okay, enough moving around, Pam. Stay still. Winter, we got this guy, very pretty. And uh, that's it, we're, no, we have more than that, but we're just out of space. So what do we do? We back up, that's what we do. Okay, we go there. And here's the other guys. So thank you for hanging out yet again. I'm just putting these all over the place so you can see them. And I'll probably add more things to these, uh, maybe on the bodies, maybe not, just depending on what their purpose is. But just, just having fun and different, just wanted to show you some different ways that you can make some fabric bookmarks and then also trim them easily so it's pretty easy stitching if you're venturing into the stitching world of junk journal making with some fabrics. So um, thanks for sharing time with me today. And um, for those of you who are new, um, thanks to everybody who's been around for a while. I truly appreciate you guys. And thanks to everybody for your comments. I love reading your comments. They're so inspirational to me. And I, I love uh, doing my best to answer questions and uh, get information out there to you guys. Come over and check out our Facebook group. We're really focused on creating, making and creating, showing what we create, junk journals um, related to weekly and uh, monthly challenges. Let's see. Uh, I want to see what you guys are making and I think you guys want to see what each other are making too. So this is an awesome way to collectively share that. And um, uh, if you find value here, please like, subscribe and share. Click the notification bell if you would like to uh, be notified of hopefully up and coming videos. You can find below links to my Amazon store for favorite tools and supplies, my Etsy shop for vintage digital kits along with surprise journals and gift bundles occasionally. Just take a peek every once in a while. You may find something over there. My free monthly emailed newsletter contains junk journal tips, a free digital image, checklist of supplies, and note from the bookmaker. My videos come out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday days, 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcasts, which are audio and free to listen to, come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, link below. Um, and uh, you can listen to also on um, Spotify and Apple, I believe, and about seven other platforms, or just click the link. And uh, my playlists are found at the end uh, and below uh, for categorized videos. Um, I do my best to put them in categories uh, so you can find them more easily. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. So remember folks that folks, folks can be fun and fun can be simple. So let's go out there and create with rec reckless abandon and let's see what else we can make. More ideas coming for you soon. Take care everybody from me, Sunshine, Holly, Papa, Happy, and Leonardo. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.